Hello everyone, this is part zero of what if Deku was the Mandalorian? Or what if Deku was, or female Deku was the, a Mandalorian in the Ruby universe? So how is this going to play out? So, she is going to be, and she's going to still be there around the age of, I say around 15 to 16 years old in between there. So she does have some of her, she does have that Mandalorian armor you do see here her with and her weaponry is eh, basic for a Mandalorian. She has a vibro braid, the two blasters, and I know you just saw and the jetpack. I'm choosing this jetpack mainly because it's more or less to me it looks the most eye pleasing and it's easiest to well see. Though it is painted in her colors, which is this. I couldn't find anything related to these colors, so just try to imagine. Also, yes, she has the wrist gauntlets. She has a th flamethrower, a grappling hook, um, and a sonic boom. You can see, like in in the rebels, when Ezra's trying to teach um, Sabine how to use the dark saber. So she ends up going on a mission one time, going to a planet. Though something happens, Atlas anti-air turrets came down on her, leading her to crash somewhere in between um, Haven and Atlas. So, what do they send? They send out a team with the Aesops going and Ruby team going. When the Aesops do get there a half an hour before Ruby team does, mainly because while well, they are more trained and adept in finding things, because it kind of was kind of not hard to find it, but it was more or less she crashed land. They see a unconscious person in the cockpit. With them immediately going up and taking her out. With them taking a note to how much weaponry she does have and taking her weapons off of her. Um, by the time Ruby and them get there, you can just hear a groggy person just saying, Ow. Ugh. My head with um Ace Ops, I forget their names. Um the speed per I forget the speed girl, I forget her name. Or the speed person immediately asking Hey, who are you? With her to with Izumi just saying ah, I'm a Mandalorian. Where what planet are we on? With also no films of the Mandalorian did come out in this Ruby universe, so they don't know what a Mandalorian is. With them just saying planet, with her just saying yeah, planet. Don't you guys have some sort of space traveling, some ships that you can go into space with? With them just saying no, we don't have anything like that. What are you talking about? With her just pointing at her ship because they are near the ship. With them just looking at it and just saying yeah. That was my ship, which is this. Also, it is slightly damaged. The thrusters aren't good anymore, though. The cockpit is slightly damaged, though it can easily be repaired. And anything inside the ship was, yes, it was probably shaken around, but other than that, nothing went off. No explosion, none of her weapons went off. And her living quarters and everything like that is more or less just like if you were to hear an earthquake and everything in your room would shake, more or less. So some things were dropped on the floor. We're just saying, so yeah. With the eights up, just saying, wait, there's people out in space? We're just saying, yeah, uh, your planet, I'm guessing, is very primitive to compared to ours. With her taking off her helmet, and yes, I'm saying she can take off her helmet, she is not Though she doesn't do the way of the other people. So yeah. With them seeing her face, I don't actually have a picture of Fima Izumi. I should have gone that. I'm kind of stupid because not getting that. So yeah. With them seeing her face fully. Though she still has green hair, green eyes, and more or less a warrior's body for a woman. Also not womanizing anyone. That is watching this video. That is a girl or a woman. 
with them seeing her and, well, yes, she has long hair. Not the spiky hair you would see Deku having more or less silky long green hair. Same color, same eyes, but same thing. Also, I'm just going to say for plot and for, well, the ship I'm going to put in, Winter's also there. And yes, the ship is going to be Winter. Though she is still around, she is two years younger, which I believe she was 20. So she is going to be 18. So there is slight difference in age. Though if I'm if I did say she was, I think, 16 to 17, I'm just going to wreck on that to being 17 to 18. So yeah. Though... Winter just says, "Do you? I see you have some weapons. We took them off, off you. So we left your armor and stuff on." With her just saying, "Thank you." Um, yeah, if you were to taken my armor off, I would have to kill you all. With them just slightly going on guard. With her just saying, "The only reason I would have to do that is my people don't like t people taking our armor. It's made because of our religion." With them just saying religion, with her taking out. The Dark Saber, because you saw that before when I was scrolling through stuff. With her just saying yes, igniting it, and they're all seeing the Black Blade. With her just saying, long time ago, this was wielded by a Jedi, people that also have powers, which I did overlook your civilization. So she does have a good understanding of what semblance are and how they work. Though obviously she doesn't have one, and she is basically powerless. Also, sorry if you have, hear anything in the background. Um, she goes explaining the story of how the Mandalore um, person with the lightsaber died and it was taken by... She just explains the whole story. If any of you have heard the story, you would understand what I mean. Um, so yeah. With her, just, with her turning it off and putting it into her pouch. With her just saying, can I have my weapons back? With them just saying... No, because we still don't trust you fully. With her just saying, fine, fine. Though Winter, though the um, the mom of the group, I forget her name, but the person that can change her weapon to a, like a rocket launcher, um, just says, what kind of weapon's that? With her just saying, it's a lightsaber. It's used by, which I don't think you would know, the Jedi. They used to be peacekeepers, but now they're, they're taking you up. And letting go, just saying they're all gone. Dust to the winds. The, after the Empire took over. With Ruby, with Winter just saying Empire? With her just saying, yeah, I don't think you would know. They're basically a big organization where they, they're basically a dictating group of the government. They don't treat anyone fairly and they're all cruel. They came up after a war between the old, between the Republic and the Separatists. Some war broke out when I was young, so I didn't know much. With um, with Winter just saying, "Oh, okay," because how she know? Because she was young, so she was never really told. Though this is the point of where Ruby, Weiss, Blake. Um, and Yang come into play. Why is just saying, sister? With why is just looking back, oh, just saying, oh, hey, sis. And yes, they have more of like a sister and sister relationship, so when they do talk, it's more or less they're like sisters and not as, cause not as more as military theme talk. So yeah. With everyone just looking up and just seeing the group of teenagers. And yes, they're the same age as before, so. Yeah. With Ruby just saying, is that a spaceship? With her activating her semblance and just going to take a look. With her, with Izumi just saying, don't touch my ship. We're just saying, oh, okay. With Blake and Yang just looking at her, asking, who are you? We're just saying, uh, because she's still like having a headache, just saying, Oh, I don't want to explain this again. They're just saying... 
Seeing, I'm guessing you are two different kinds of governments. Because she is very smart in this and is adept. With Ruby just, with Winter just saying, yeah, they're part of a different um, area in um, the whole world. Because we have different civilizations where our world is taken by, we're taken by Grimm. With her just saying Grimm, are those like those big black things with the red eyes and the weird bones? With Winter just saying yes, and how much do you know of our planet? With her just saying, I think I know the basics, your world is kind of like overrun by these monsters, and you have people fighting them and being more or less called hunters and huntresses. And you have like civilized, and there's different governments, though I don't know a lot about them, mainly because I was in space, so I couldn't really talk to you guys. You didn't really, because my tech was really over advanced than yours, so we couldn't really communicate. Which is probably why I got shot out the air. Out of a turret. Also, why'd you shoot me out of the air? With them just saying, we thought you were undead and fighting, trying to come and dear a ship. Or come in, come to our thing, come to our city without a license, which wasn't allowed, and we kind of like restricted you. But you didn't listen, mainly. But now we understand why, and so yeah. We're just saying... Okay. With her just saying, can I go look at my ship, seeing how badly damaged you guys damaged it? With Winter just saying, fine, and saying, I'm coming with you, though. We still don't fully, completely trust you. With her just saying, all right, all right. White-haired lady. With Winter, because she doesn't know any other names, with Winter just saying, my name's Winter, and... Putting over there, just saying that was my sister. We go to different, like, government places. We were just saying, uh-huh. I'm guessing you're from the Schneek thing. That Schnee symbol thing I saw one time. We are just saying, so you're letting on more than you know. You're not letting on, so you're, I can't speak. So you're saying you know a little more than you're saying. We are just saying, I don't like to give away all my information all at once. It's kind of like how we were taught back in where I come from. With her, with her just being okay. Also, what's with her just saying? Also, what's what are you? What's your armor made of? That took a that was a big crash. With her just saying, this armor is probably I guess this armor is actually very old. Though I did refurbish it. Um, two more to my liking, though the metal in this is over 500 years old. With her just saying 500 years old, that's probably well, it probably got really, really damaged back then. With her just saying the pieces of metal we use is very durable. Probably it can take a blaster shot. With, with, Ru with Winter just saying blaster shot. With her just pointing at the blaster that's on the ground that they took out of her, out of her holster, with her just saying, "Okay." With her going to the ship, opening up the bay because, the front part is more or less inside, going like it's more up than, because it kind of like landed in a weird way because it cr is crash landed flat so they can open the doors, though they can open up the bay at the back. Because it's kind of like tilted backwards. Slightly. With Winter just going in and seeing how well it looks. And yes, it looks basically the same way. With her just showing the... With her just walking to the cockpit. And well, looking at the systems. With her just saying, ah, fuck. And yes, I am swearing in this. For y'all to know. So I am going to put this as 18 plus or 15 plus. Depending on what I do with the storyline. With her, with Winter just saying, what was that for? With her just saying, the f thrusters are all, are basically destroyed, so I can't really move my ship. With, though I probably do have some parts to fix it, so I can get moving slightly, though I'm not going to be able to break atmosphere anymore. So I'm probably going to be stuck here for the next while, until you guys probably make a super breakthrough in tech with winter just saying so we're going to be talking more more uh, talking more
with her just saying, I guess so. The one, uh, with, I'm probably going to need more people to help fix the ship. Can you get those, um, kids to come inside and help me? With Winter just saying, are you sure you don't want them? You're probably going to go looking around in your ship. With her just saying, I'll give them tours. Like, I'll give her a, I'll give them a slight tour just to tell them where not to go. And to go. With Winter just saying, okay. With Ruby still the team leader. And she goes talk to Ruby saying, you can go in the ship. Though you have to help her fix the ship. So Ruby's knowing. Though she gets those anime star eyes just saying, I get to go in an alien spaceship with my friends. With Yang and, well, Blake and Wise just being excited. Also, not to the point of Ruby, though. More or less saying, this? What, this is actually pretty cool. With her just waiting at the front part of the ship. With her just saying, I think I have some parts to fix it. Though I need uh, some hands to fix some of the parts. So, yeah. With her just showing, slightly showing where the armory is. And opening the door with... Blake just giving a big whistle, just going, <laughs> that's a big gun in there, with Izumi just saying, weapons are my, like, are weapons a part of my religion, so I would probably do have a lot of weapons, with them all just being, ooh, I'm, with, why just saying, why, are you from a warrior-based place, with her just saying, yep, with why well, it's not expecting that answer, just saying what do you mean? With her just saying my people are more or less honor honoring and people that go by an honor code. We kinda work separated, though we are starting to put us put everything back together, though I don't know what's gonna happen in the future, mainly because I'm probably gonna be stuck here for a long time. With Blake actually with Yang just saying what do you mean? With her just saying, I can fix the ship flight system so it can get up in the air and start flying around. Though I'm probably not going to be a be able to break orbit, going back to my home place. With Blake just saying, oh, I'm sorry for seeing you have to be stuck here for a long time. With her just saying, no, I actually find this place kind of interesting and how you have powers and everything like that. Where I come from, we have no powers. None at all. We have no powers, names, semblances, nor anything. It's just good old-fashioned brawling and, well, blasters and lasers and sh spaceships. With them just kind of being, what do you mean, no semblances? With her going into more explanation, just saying, the only people that have powers and, well, basically my, where I come from are named Jedi. Though they are kind of dead now, mainly because when the Empire took over, they kind of did a... With her also knowing, because everyone knows about what Order 66 is, because it kind of got revealed to everyone afterwards. Because the Chancellor of the Republic did an Order, Order 66, which basically says the order of kill all Jedi and don't leave any of them standing. With them just saying, how many Jedi were there? With her just saying, probably in the, probably just about to break into the millions. With them just saying, that's a lot of people. With them kind of getting a sad mood now. With her just saying, yeah, though they're still survivors, so they're not all gone. So even so, you can still have powers without being related to them. With them just saying, what do you mean? Because she does, because she does know Sabine in this. Because we have worked with them before, so she does know us some about the Force. So, yeah. With her just saying, the Force is kind of like air. It's, or with, like, matter. It's always everywhere, and everything's connected. It what binds the galaxy together. I didn't really look much into it, mainly because I don't have the Force, nor do the most of the population do. It's kind of like one person every year in the planet. So it's kind of hard to get into. With them um, just saying, oh, okay. The Blake just asks, what about your armor? Handing her a wrench, because she is still fixing up the ship. With, Weiss, with Ruby, kind of more or less, 
looking around the ship and kind of going into the army room. And looking at the guns. Being, oh my god, this is so cool. Because she is still the geek with the weapons at the start still. And so yeah, and none of the weapons changed her or any of the personalities. They're just more or less confused at the moment. With her just saying my arm is a was passed on to me by my great 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 grandfather. Our armor is very durable and it's made of a very special material that cannot be easily broken. It can withstand a lightsaber. With Yang just saying oh, with sorry, with Blake just saying a lightsaber, with her just pulling out the the dark saber and igniting and showing them the lightsaber. With Blake just saying, why is it black? With her kind of, because she knows how to use it, more or less, so she can open it and close it. The panels, because she does know how some of it works, because she did kill the person before this. Though she's not trying to make it known that she is a killer and stuff like that. Or else that's probably going to get her set back a lot. With her just saying, opening up, just saying, so how Jedi work is more or less, they they have different colors that represent their different themes. Though this lightsaber was forged by a Mandalorian, where I come from, the only person that was ever inducted to the Jedi Academy. S one time when, though how this got into the future hands of the Mandalorians, I don't really like to say. With them kind of being suspicious, just saying, okay. So yeah. Though outside winter... And the Aesops are more or less discussing what they should do once that ship gets up in the air. With them all agreeing, they should probably take it back to Atlas and, well, talk to Ironwood. Because Ironwood is still the general and nothing has changed. The present day hasn't started because it's going to start in the next ten months. So, yeah. So after they get the ship and she kind of starts it up, she just says, you guys want to take... My ship back to wherever you guys go because I need to. This probably just lasts a day uh, or so with the amount of energy I have left, so I have to recharge the batteries. Yes, has fuel, but also needs electricity, so so the operations can work. With them just saying, you can probably take it over to Atlas. We'll we, if you let us come in, we can just show you there. With her just saying, sure. With her just opening up the big bay at the bottom, opening up, and them coming in. Ruby. Weiss, Blake, and Winter, or Ruby, Blake, Weiss, and Yang go out, or go walking back and explain the, the, what happened to, okay. now I think, to Ozpin. Yes, Ozpin. I was going to say Oscar, but it's Ozpin. With him, with him knowing the situation now, and he's more or less wanting to get back in contact with um, Ironwood, mainly because she, there's a alien and he's taking a very military tourist to it. With him just saying we can probably take her as an ally, because he does know the ship can't be set back into space. So he thinks we can use her as an ally to help against the Grim and Salem. Knowing how probably, because one, she could probably, though he doesn't know this quality of the spaceship yet, so it can break over it. With him just saying she probably could have... Reinforcements come help us. Though when they get there, they see the ship that Ironwood, that the ship that kind of got shot down, and yes, it still has damage to it. Though more or less, it is can fly with them with Ironwood just seeing the ship and just saying, "That's very advanced ship." With the Aesops and her just coming out with her just walking towards him, just saying, "Why'd you shoot me down?" With Ironwood just saying you didn't communicate with us, so we thought you were someone that was trying to go into at the spaceport without proper jurisdiction, so we had to shoot you down. I was just saying, oh, so the same explanation these guys gave me. All right, fine. Was there just saying before you ask? Yes, I'm from space. With him just being oh, so what is it like in space? With them walking back to his office. With her just saying, it's interesting, you could say the least. Though she did get her weapons back, so she does have them. 
Though she never took her gauntlets off, so she kind of did still have those. Though she is wearing the mask, or the helmet, sorry, I should say, for a better term. With Iron just saying, what's with the whole get-up? They're just saying it's where I come from. We wear this armor. It's kind of more or less our identity and how we represent how we design where or how we are with our Mandalorian clans. With her just saying clans and just saying, so there's more of you. With her just saying, yes, there's probably in a couple millions. Mainly because now our race got kind of killed, got slightly killed off by the government. In outer space, with her, with him, just slightly being concerned, because well, the government and he doesn't know the quality of the government. With him just saying, "Why would you do to her?" With her just saying nothing. They thought us as they could pl- probably more or less be a threat in the future, and they took us out. The government and ours more or less a dictating ship. They don't care who they are as long as you have money and power. They don't. They let you be. And which led people to do more, not as humane thing as you may think. With him just saying, I see, with him entering the room, and, well, him just saying, everyone get out, I'm talking to this woman. With her, with Aesop coming in, and with her taking out the helmet. With him actually seeing the face, the green eyes, green silky hair back. And a slight, like, with a slight bruised face. With him just saying, you okay? With her just saying, yeah, I just got a bruise from impact from when you guys shot me down. With him just saying, ah, yeah, sorry. Still sorry about that. With her just saying, it's fine, it's fine. It's just more or less, you guys need more better communication. You need to upgrade your communication. With also, you do see the old man and Penny come in. With Penny just immediately coming in, just being, who is that? Because she still looks like her old self. She hasn't met Ruby yet because the spring, the spring festival hasn't happened, so they haven't really met. Those still, they're still going to be friends in the future. With him just saying, I think that's someone from outer space. With her just being outer space. Searching up what outer space means. It's just saying, oh my god, it's an alien. With him just chuckling, just saying yes. Though they can't really hear them, mainly because, well, his room is slightly big. So they're in the corner. Just waiting for them to be done talking. With Ireland just going on, just saying, alright, I understand your situation. We'll help, we'll, We'll let you stay here as long as you need with your ship. Though we are going to ask you to help us look at our, your tech so we can probably help us against our foe. With her, just saying, with her just saying, I'm guessing it's the Grim. With him just saying, yeah, I'm guessing you also did surveillance, right? With her just saying, yeah. And I do know majority of what's going on with, so yeah. With him just being okay. Also still being concerned because, well, she was from NASA space, so she could see a lot of what was going on in the world. So he's still being concerned about, could have she, could she have seen Salem? Though, so, yes, yeah, she didn't see Salem, but she will find out about that soon. With her getting into the dorms, because there are like a dormish area in there where everyone could sleep. So yeah, with her kind of taking off her armor. And yes, yeah, she does take off her armor, because she, she, so yeah. With winter coming in, because they do have bunks, so it's more or less two people per bunk, or per, yeah, two people per room, and she got out with winter. With her just seeing her half naked and slightly blushing, immediately going back and closing the door. With her also blushing and just being, oh shit, I'm a lesbian. Also, I'm not trying to be racist or feminist or anything like that. It's just storyline, and I want to make it kind of funny and kind of, well, cool, and stuff like that, so sorry if anyone got offended by that. They're immediately putting on a shirt and pants and basically saying, you can come in now. Though Winter is still blushing, just looking away with her just saying, and yes, Mandalorians aren't really afraid of their bodies, so she does just say, 
So you like what you see? With her immediately going red and passing out. But you could just hear a little dud when she fell. With her just immediately putting her on a bed and waiting five minutes until she wakes up. With her not remembering what much happened, just saying, uh, what happened? With her just, with her just saying, you kind of came in my room, you kind of came in the room when I was half naked. With her, and then remembering everything and her just blushing, just saying, S -s sorry. Though she does look at her arm in the corner, kind of like on a, how should I say, like a dummy stand. And just seeing the scratches and bow scars. Though she does have the jetpack on the side. Where Winter just saying, what the hell, what is that? Was her just saying, jetpack. And Winter just says, jetpack. And she just says, jetpack. Just being okay. Noted. Though she does still have her weapons nearby. And yes, she does. Because she did talk with Ironwood just saying, can I keep my weapons and stuff like that. With him just allowing it, though he does say don't try to use them in, um, outside, though you have to keep them holstered and stuff like that. Though she, because she does have to follow the law slightly, so she does, so she can't just go around shooting people and, well, hurting or slightly damaging property damage. So yeah, um... And it was late, so Winter and her kind of went to bed and heard their separate beds. With them both falling asleep and waking up the next morning. Though when Winter wakes up, they, she doesn't see um, the men, her or Izumi mainly because she's already got up and put her armor on. With coming out just with everything except for the helmet on, with her just saying, or and the jetpack with her just saying hi, you kind of slept in. With her just saying, looking at the time, with her realizing they kind of had to get ready 30 minutes before, before they had to go in the next five. With her immediately going to the shower, being very, or or the next 10 minutes, sorry, I should say. With her going to shower, changing, and immediately going out. With Izumi just waiting there with the back, with the jetpack in her hand and the helmet. With when Winter just comes out, just saying, I'm ready in a very heavily with breathing heavily because you had to do everything very fast and didn't get much for breakfast. With her just saying, it's fine, just try to wake up next time. So yeah. With her just lighting the backpack on her back and hearing a big or a noom. <coughs> Because it's magnetic, so she can't take it off and on. With her, with Winter just saying, "What is that magnetic? Is that ma yeah, magnetic or something?" With her just saying, "Yeah, it's easier to take off and on." So I don't always have to wear my jetpack. Also, sorry if you hear any background. Um. So yeah. Mm. Um. They kind of go out and. Winter goes around the base and telling her, giving her a tour of everything and see, showing where the other Aesops are. She does get a slight map of where everything is in the town of, and everything is, so she can go out and kind of explore for herself, though. So, yeah. Though, I'm going to skip back to where Ironwood is, so he is alone in the room and just talking to Osmond. With Osmond just saying... So we have a visitor from outer space. With Iron just saying, yeah, I guess we do. Them both slightly chuckling, just saying, so the world is bigger than our imagination. I guess we can probably go higher than just the sky now, Ospin. Without just, just being, yeah, I guess so. <sighs> Giving another chuckle and just saying, so what are we going to do with that person, with her, Ospin? With Osmond just saying, leave her. She doesn't seem, from what I can tell, with you've told me, she doesn't seem that she would just attack. And she definitely probably won't. And with how she has the honor base code, she probably won't go to Salem. 
with us with Ireland just saying, yeah, you're probably right about that. You think sing so what do you want to do with all her stuff that she brought us with? I was just saying, you can ask her if we can look into it, though. If she says, yes, get it to your scientists, and I'll probably get some of mine, and we'll just come together and, well, look at it. With them both just, with them just ending the call after that, mainly because they talked about everything. They had to say it. Though Ironwood does get out of the room and actually tries to go look for Izumi. Though none of them know her name by now, none of them know her name. They just call her a. They just call her her. With Winter actually just asking the question, so what is your actual name? With her just saying, I guess I can say, say I'm gonna be here for a while. My name is actually Izumi Midoriya. I'm part of the Rent Clan. With her just being oh okay, <clears throat> oh okay. So yeah, though when they walk through the next corner, they see Ironwood with Ironwood just coming up, just saying, um, also asking what is her name, and she, with her just saying it's Izumi Midoriya, I'm part of the Run Clan, from where I come from. With him just saying, oh okay, um, is it okay if we look in some of your gear so we can better prepare, so we can actually upgrade our own weaponry? With white, with her just saying. All right, but it's gonna cost you. With Iron Witch just saying, "What do you want?" In a more militaristic look, or in more militaristic wording. They're just saying, "I want to get some. I want some stuff to repair my ship with, and I'll let you look at some of my stuff. Is that okay with you?" With them just going back to a more of conversation theme talk and him just saying that's fine by me what do you need with her just saying i need some fuel and some tech to help i can probably make something that can help fix the ship with him just saying all right if you wanted some tech you can go here here and here because i actually don't know how you get to um the old doctor's area so yeah with her just saying thank you, though Wist does have to leave, or Winter does have to leave and say I have some military things to do with her. I can't speak or anything. Where they're saying I have something to go do right now. Are you okay to go around and go where you have to go? With her just saying, yeah, I, I can find where I have to go. With Winter just saying, okay, bye. With them being by, though the still winter is still kind of like, oh hell, she's I saw her naked in the back of her head, so she does kind of think of that for most of the day. With her just being knocking on the door, with them just being, hello, with her just coming in, just saying hi, came here for some tech. Ironwood said it was okay. For you guys to look, in exchange of you guys looking for my, looking at my tech. And also Penny is not there. She's more or less outside looking at everything. Being the loving, cheerful person she is in the universe. With him just saying, I get to look at alien tech. With a doctor, with him just being mouth dropped and just being, I guess so. Though I probably going to have to look at, though I have to also make some stuff. So I'll leave my jetpack and pistols there for you to look at. I'm going to keep the gauntlets on mainly because those are more or less, I have to take some armor off to do that, and I don't want to take my armor off in the middle of out here. With him just saying that's fine, it, it's really fine. Thank you for the opportunity, and so with her just saying, yeah, yeah, it's fine. So yeah, um, what now? So she does jerry rake some parts so that she can use to put in her system. And yes, she does kind of get some fuel, though it's more or less Atlas gravity dust, so it can actually last longer now. Because in the ship, they use 
fuel. Though I'm just going to say the gravity test is better than fuel in some cases. So yeah. Um, and so when they're all done, she just says thanks for the tech. With him just saying thank you for letting me look at some of your stuff. I think I have some ideas I can add to some weaponry that can be more cost efficient and easier to use and well help us against the grin. But they're just saying glad to help and leaving the room. At that time it's lunchtime, so she does go to the cafeteria seeing the Aesops. With them going out and just saying, Hey, how are you guys? With them just saying, oh, hey, with the, what was her name? The person with the rocket launcher that can change to something else. What was it called? The, the mom of the group, basically, the one that kind of, like, shook Ruby around near the start of the seventh season of Ruby. Just saying, like, talking about food and stuff. With her just saying... Hey, by the way, what is your name? With her just taking out the helmet and just saying, my name is Izumi, or Izumi Midoriya. What's yours? With them giving me their names, I actually have to, in the next episode, I'm going to actually say their names. I have to look at a video and saying what's their names. With her just being, oh, with her just asking, with Izumi just asking, so what do you guys do for for fun around here? With them just saying, we usually just spar and stuff. Where they're just hearing spar. Where they're just saying, you guys might want to fight me. With them just being sure. So how do you want to do this? With gear or without? With they're just saying, I prefer with gear. Mainly because it would be a disadvantage with, oh, you guys have superpowers and I don't. With them being, oh, okay, because they do know about her not having powers and everything, so word did come around that an alien person from space came. So everyone was kind of quiet and just listening in. With them going up to the training area where Ruby and, like, team, where the the two teams from before came in. So, yeah. And, well, they train. Though when it came to kind of, like, sparring and stuff, she went against, uh, what was her name? The Wolf Faunus, I believe. I forget his name. I have to look at the names again. So, yeah. And with her, immediately, because they, because uh, throughout the training they did, she did kind of see of what powers they did have and stuff like that. And they also kind of saw how good in fighting she is and how she can use her stuff. Though she did, they didn't see, they only really just saw her using her blasters and sometimes even using, practicing with her sword. With the dark saber, I should say. And yes, and with the vibro braid. With them kind of saying those are cool weapons, where'd you get those? Where they're just saying, I kind of like, with how my people are, I have to earn my weapons and gear. So I had to go, th which which is why I am, which is how I got here, because I was a bounty hunter. I was in a job of looking of, seeing of, getting a type of item, popping up a random piece of item, though I probably can't look for it now, mainly because they probably think I'm dead or something like that, so... That is, so the bounty is probably going to get scrapped and the person is probably going to come looking. So I'm going to get a bounty on myself now, which is great. With her just going on, just saying, yeah. With her explaining more about how bounty hunting and that profession is. With them just not, with them slightly being, oh, so you kind of, you do kill people. With her just saying, yeah, I do. No, I don't prefer those missions mainly because they're not really my style. With them being slightly happy, because while she doesn't like killing, though she does it if she has to. Which a lot of military people can understand with that, because while well, she is in a military base. So yeah. Though when the speed... What was her name? The speed girl... 
does come up just saying, so you want to spar? With her just saying, yeah. With her just getting into a, with her getting into a stance for the Republic. And yes, she does know some Republic stances. And the stance, yes, I'm, I am copying this from another YouTube page. Though I do think it's very cool and it's a good idea to do. This was basically the clone version of Assassin. This was like an assassin group for clones, where their mission was to assassinate Jedi. With her just saying, "What kind of stance is that?" With her just saying, "Come on." Sorry for the slight noises. With her just saying, "Why don't you come find out so I can kick your ass with it?" So yeah. Sorry for the noises, guys. Shh. Sorry, guys, for the noise. So yeah, um, with her getting to stands and same thing as I was explaining before. So yeah, though when she kind of when she uses semblance, she kind of gets into a blocking part, though immediately going to punch her, getting her square in the guts. With her just saying, what the hell? With her just saying, ow. And they aren't wearing the really, and she isn't really wearing her helmet, so she does see, they do see each other's faces, so yeah. With her immediately going to side and hitting her in the, also hitting her in the face. Square in the face, with her kind of spitting out some blood. Saying that was a good punch. Immediately going to grapple hook her. Though she is too fast to do that. So she gets out of it fairly quickly. With her just being. <laughs> that's actually pretty good. No. I yeah, can't speak. For the top people in the military, I'm guessing. So yeah. With her just saying, yeah, yeah, keep talking. So, yeah. Um, they end up expiring, and they both come out kind of bloody and beaten. Though more of the speed girl than her, mainly because she was wearing the armor. So it protected her for some of the shots. And more or less, it was more or less, she did feel the hit... Or it was mainly just bruises on her, though. She kind of, with her, ah, I'm getting mixed up. With them both being slightly hurt, so they kind of do go out and go to the metal bay, the medis the medical bay, and getting patched up. With them getting a slight respect for each other. And by that time, it was the afternoon, so they had to go back to their dorms and stuff. Though when... She walks in that she sees Winter on her bed just reading a book. So yeah. With her just saying, Hey Winter and Winter just saying, Hey Zumi. With her putting her taking her armor off, helmet, jetpack, and all her stuff. And putting on some pants and short. With her just saying with some and putting on some pants and a shirt. With her going with her going to the table and also looking at her gauntlets because they did get slightly damaged from her. With her just being slightly and then getting burned, just saying, ow. With Winter just saying, looking back quickly, just saying, are you okay? With her just saying, yeah, yeah, I just, my gauntlets kind of gave, had a feedback and kind of shocked me. I'm fine. With her just saying, oh, okay. Continue to read the book and the night kind of went like that. Though at the night they kind of just kept talking and kind of they both kind of like liked to with yeah, at the end of the night with both of them talking more and getting to know each other with them both kind of like being similar in some ways they were both knowing the military and honor and the family of how because the Wrens still because she was at the point of where the Wrens betrayed the um 